Okay, this is going to be a tutorial on how to get the Targus Universal Wireless Keyboard to work with your PSP. First thing, you must have custom firmware and it must be an older PSP FAT because the PSP Slim, they removed the infrared port, which was right here. Unfortunately, they removed it, so the keyboard will not work on a PSP Slim. Now to check if you have custom firmware, this is the easiest way to do it. Go to System Settings, System Information. If your PSP has custom firmware, it will have something written on the side where the number is at. If this was an official firmware, it would only show the numbers where it says System Software. Alright, the first thing you're going to need to do is download the patch from this web address, which I will include in the description on YouTube. Unofficial pick key 0 0.4 fix. It's just a fixed installer, so it, because there was a problem with the original installer. Basically, you just uh, click here to download it. Remember where you saved it on your computer. Or if you basically at, you just remember where you saved it. I already downloaded it, so I'm just going to hit cancel. And I'm going to include this link too here. It's a patch so that the uh, the keyboard works in the uh, in PSP games and with uh, homebrew that supports uh, the keyboard without this patch it's the IR DA patch without this patch you can't uh, use the keyboard in 3xx kernel mode which is basically saying here this patch is a simple and painless to install. Basically, the patch can be downloaded here. You click here. Simple enough. Save to disk. Click OK. Sometimes the downloads are a bit of a pain in the butt on this website, but sometimes they take a long time to uh, come up. If it doesn't work, after a few minutes it cancel and try again. But anyway, once you've done that, we'll go to the next step. Now that you've downloaded the files, put your PSP in USB mode and hook up the cable to your computer. Now that you've done this, uh, double click on this. The kitty cat's trying to get on the video. Open the MS0, click on this. Copy this folder. Select your PSP drive. Click copy. Click yes to all. And done. Close this uh, zip file. Now open up the this one. Double click on MS root. Select the PSP folder. Copy this folder. Select your PSP drive. My drive is H on this computer, but it could be something else on yours. And hit copy. Hit yes to all. And it should copy everything to PSP game slash picky installer. And voila. Now that that's been done, safely remove your PSP. Go to your memory card. Go to the game and then the memory card. There's the pick key installer. Run it. Takes a little bit. I'm going to press O because I already have it installed, but it says press X to install, O to exit. Once you get back to your screen after it's done installing, open this, go down to the patch, open the patch, 
Same thing, press X to install, but I'm going to press O because I already have it installed. And that's that. And here's your last step. To get into recovery mode, which we need to do right now, you hold the power down until it completely shuts down, until the light's off. Now you press the R button down, hold it down, and at the same time press the power, and you're in recovery mode. Now to make sure things are set up right, this is pretty small writing, but I got my camera zoomed really good. Go to plugins, press X, pick key is enabled, you have to make sure pick key is enabled, PRX. That's a, a different plugin that I had in there. You don't have to worry about that one. Pick key game is enabled. IRDA patch is enabled. And that's it. If you want it to work in the uh, with the older game 150 uh, 1.5 kernel, you enable that. But I don't have it enabled because I don't really need it. I don't have anything that uses a keyboard in 1.5. Once you've made sure that everything is good there, you exit. And your keyboard, if everything went well. Should work. The other thing you have to make sure is make sure that your batteries are good in your Targus Universal wireless keyboard. But uh that should be it. You have to make sure that the uh, infrared thing here points directly at it. If it's not pointing correctly, it will not work. You have to make sure it points at the uh, top infrared right here. Sometimes you have to, like if it's sitting like this, it probably won't work. See? It won't work. You have to center it in front of it. Thank you for watching my keyboard tutorial. And good luck with your keyboard. It's easier to play with the controller.